Okay, there's the gopher. Okay, not so proper method. We ain't putting this on YouTube, are we, this John? Is a big gopher. Oh, sure. Don't they get mad? Think it's not too much for the reality. The the reality. We're a bunch of fruitcakes. No, we're not. Killing gophers. I never caused the gophers pain. If you were to do this when they're alive, this would be extremely painful, but... Well, they're dead. We always wait till they're dead. And we and they we knock them on the head, we don't hurt them. And they ruin the trees, so they have to go. And there's no if, ends, or buts. These things have to be destroyed. They, these guys chewed up 7,000 white pines. And what's nice about this one, this is a big female. Too fast. The camera can't pick it up. What does the salt do, though? The salt draws the water out of the feet. And then you pour the water off, and then... You can dry the feet and they'll stay dry and they won't rot. Best way to not get these to rot. Tell you gotta dress your traps. Okay, how do you dress your traps, Gunner? First, good thing to wash all the sand off them. Brush it off. Okay. We copperize the trigger so it don't rust. You see that? Puts a thin coating of copper on there. It helps it to be slippery and keeps it from rusting. WD-40 is the final. I think the gophers actually like the smell of this D-40. Okay. As well as I do. Mm -hmm. We have the tool for finding the hole and also digging the hole out. These two tools are indispensable in this profession. Okay, we're looking for the hole. There it is. I just found it. It broke through real nice. So we're going to dig it out with this tool helps to just get in there where your hands can't be and so you don't get bit. These these will bite. I'm going to set the trap. I'm using the common death clutch trap that I've okay, that I've modified by mm -hmm. bending these tines a little forward. I've raced this with copper, bent these tines out, rounded them off a little bit. Okay. And uh, it just, your trigger's got to be just about, just right. This one is not. Hold up. Apologize for the Now darkness. what you want to do is take a little dry dirt to cover the tines. I want them to see that. Okay. This gap in here, if there's any play or gap, They'll pull the trap back and forth and set it off. Okay. What I'm doing is setting the height of the trap, but then I wanna I wanna close this gap and I take the clothespin and that's what that's used for. It creates the tension so now there's no no play. And the final step, you wanna hide the trap. You wanna hide all this apparatus so okay. they don't see it. Okay. So we just stick a little grass right there. And why do you do that, Gunner, if the gophers are coming up from underground? Because they might see this and, and be afraid of it. Wonderful tool that's made out of a nail and a washer, bent at an angle. Okay, a lot of the viewers have asked about where you got that tool, Gunner. It's a homemade tool, correct? Yeah, you can buy them from me for uh, $15 shipped. Now, this time we'll use some beautiful scented flowers for gophy. We're coming back to check our traps that we set in the day. It is now night. And we, you can see he's moving this trap around. You can see into the hole. We've got a live gopher. This one's alive. Not for long. I'm going to pull him out of this hole. He's mad. Good, I hope it's mad. These cursed things kill trees and they all gotta die. Sorry, I get a little carried away. You can see we got a good catch on him. That's why you want to set these traps good. You get them every time. Oh, he's gonna try to get away on us. We'll give him the glorious tap in the head. 
please do with honors. Begin the. Uh, now, if there's children present, please don't watch this, children. This we. Okay. Bug bit me in the neck. The glorious tap on this. We don't like to have these things suffer, so this nope. takes them out. The quickest is just a tap on the head. He's dead. Okay, that's the end of the gopher. No more problems.